In this video, I will be talking about how volleyball is one of the most competitive sports due to its high intensity, mental strength, and the importance of each player's contribution to the sport. Volleyball was created by William G. Morgan in 1895. William G. Morgan originally named the sport Mintonet. Morgan created the game at a local YMCA in Springfield, Massachusetts, and he hoped for it to be a combination of basketball, tennis, baseball, and handball. Morgan was very good friends with James Nysmith, the creator of basketball. He was a great mentor to him and inspired him to create the sport of volleyball. When volleyball first started, Morgan made rules that were very different from the way most people play today. Volleyball used to be played in nine innings. The original court size was 25 feet by 50 feet. Now it is 30 feet by 60 feet. The original volleyball had to be covered in leather or canvas and it had to be between 25 to 27 inches in circumference. By 1917 came the three contact rule which prohibits any player from contacting the ball more than once at a time and there can only be three contacts on each side before sending the ball back to the opposing team. When volleyball originally started, most people just wore their everyday clothes. Many women were also very concerned with their clothing in the early 1900s. In the 1930s, Adidas and Nike finally decided to recognize volleyball as a professional sport and made special clothing related to the sport of volleyball. In the 1970s, players finally stepped away from the conservative clothing and stepped into collared jerseys and shorts that usually matched alongside their shoes and socks. In the 1980s to now, players discovered that tighter materials would help them play better. So now volleyball players wear tight spandex shorts and tight jerseys that help them move more freely. One reason that makes volleyball such a competitive sport is the importance of each player's contribution to the game. In volleyball, you can't solely depend on one person to win the game. As if you were playing tennis, golf, or even swimming, you can depend on just one person. But in volleyball, it really takes a team effort. Another reason why volleyball is so competitive is due to its high intensity. You are literally sacrificing your body to stop the ball from hitting the ground. You will see volleyball players diving on the ground, running into the stands, or even jumping over chairs. Finally, volleyball is a competitive sport due to the mental strength volleyball players need to have. To be successful in volleyball, players need to have a growth mindset. Many volleyball players will find themselves having a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset is when you say, I was born with talent, so I will always be talented. Players with a fixed mindset are cocky and eventually will be surpassing talent with players who have a growth mindset. A growth mindset is when you say, if I practice more, I can become more talented. Players with a growth mindset accept their mistakes and losses and use them as part of the developmental process. In conclusion, volleyball is just one of the best sports you can play, and it is also one of the most competitive.